What's up? This is Renz with Why I Left Religion. I'm gonna make this short but long video. The other day I did a video about was Jesus an apocalyptic preacher? And then today I saw a Facebook post. And in that post they talked about the fact that they were saying that the world is crazier now than it's ever been. It's just not true. It's just not a true statement. You have to gain perspective when you look at this. When I was a child born in 1971, of course the world was great. The world was great because all you did was play, 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 and have fun, fun, fun. You started becoming aware of your surroundings and aware of political ramblings. You started becoming aware of police brutality, of racism, of things like that as you grew older. So now at 50, my perspective of how the world is now compared to how it was as a, when I was a child and a teenager, of course the world is crazier now compared to that time frame because it's not really about the time frame as much as it is about what my perspective was, what my awareness was during that time frame. I'm going to show you how the world is not coming to an end as many of these apocalyptic people will go around saying that, you know, Jesus, Allah, Buddha, whomever is coming to an end. The world is ending. We are hitting. The signs are all there. Hell, your books say that no one will even know when the time is. But then it goes and says that you can know that the time is coming by these signs. Wars and rumors of wars. Fathers against, fathers against sons. Mothers against daughters. Disease and pestilence. But let me ask you a true question. And I want you to think about this historically. When has there not been wars and rumors of wars? When has there not been disease and pestilence? When has there not been family structures being broken down? They all been broken down one way or another. It may not be the same vehicle, but they all still been broken down and then they rebuild themselves up. We actually go through waves of highs and lows. But those waves and highs and lows, if you really look at the content of them and look at them in context, you will never say that the world is worse now than it was back then. I was born in 1971, only a few years out of integration in America. Most of Africa was still colonized. Jim Crow laws were still in existence. But by the time we get to 1971, Jim Crow laws are still somewhat there but being weeded out. New forms of racism and systematic racism was being in place. But what we did not have was the fact that oh, this is a black water fountain, this is a white water fountain. What we just did not have was the KKK start dwindling in their power and their presence. Before I was born, the last, that was the last time they, they had marched in Marietta City prior to me being born. And that used to be an annual thing. The town that I'm in right now used to be a sundown town. Black people couldn't be out here after sundown. Or you're most likely going to get hurt, injured, or killed. If you can honestly sit there and say that we are enslaved equally to how our forefathers were enslaved 200 years ago, you're delusional. You're only looking at it from your perspective because I guarantee you, if you can travel back in time 200 years ago and experience the slavery that they experienced, there is absolutely no way you would come back to this time frame and say that it's, it's equal. It's far from it. I won't even go into a long dialogue about that because that would be my intelligence arguing against stupidity. Yes, stupidity, not ignorance, stupidity. Because there's absolutely no way that a person can say that today's form of mental financial slavery is the same as the mental, physical, financial, spiritual slavery that was going on 200 years ago in the Americas. It's not. Am I saying that we don't have things that we need to work on today, that we still don't have issues, we still don't have a fight? No, we got a hell of a fight, still to fight. Because it will be a violation of what our ancestors went through, of what those who stood up did if we don't keep the gas on until we have total and complete freedom. I know a lot of y'all just celebrated the 4th of July in America, but I don't celebrate the freedom of white people from the tyranny of taxes, but the continued enslavement of my ancestors. There's no freaking way in hell I'm going to spend a, a dime or any time celebrating something of that nature.
we still have a fight. Yes, we do. But this idea that the world is coming to an end because of what your book says or because your perspective that the world is worse than worse off now than it was back then, no. It is much harder for the Highway Commission to go to build highways and destroy black communities, thriving black communities today than it was in the 1950s. In the 1950s, towns like Overtown, Overtown um, in Miami, of course, those towns were destroyed and black people didn't have the ability to fight back in the way that we have to fight back today. So to say that the world is worse, no. Ask any Jewish person if today is worse now than it was for their ancestors who was in Germany during World War II. They will tell you, no, it's not as bad. Do they still have struggles? Do they still have things to fight for? Yes, they do. Are they still very vigilant? Yes, they are. But it's not worse. Ask the Palestinians. Well, the Palestinians, the shit is worse now than it was 50 years ago. But that's the thing. It's an ebb and flow. It's a high and a low. It is not all the same. If you live in a country today where you actually have religious freedoms, where you can practice whatever religion you choose, would you? And if, but if you went back in time and you was in the Roman Empire during around 500 AD when Theodosius was murdering anybody who did not believe in Christianity, when he said the Roman Empire, the only religion that will exist is Christianity, and it, they didn't go about it by way of the conversion through speech. They went about it through murdering anybody who disagreed with them by burning all your books and manuals even someone who was born in the 1600s in England and in Europe, their religious freedoms were more free than it was in, during the Roman Empire time frame of 500 AD. I mean, yeah. So to say that the world is coming to an end, that the world is worse today than it was back then, is a falsehood. The world is actually a lot better today than it has been in over 200 years. In over 200 years. I'm a black man sitting in Stone Mountain, Georgia, with big ass Confederate monument sitting right there on the side of that mountain. I'm in a town that used to be a sundown town where if it got dark, you better get your ass out of this side of town. I can live here. I can build a family here. I build a business here. And if anybody walked in the door, unlike Tulsa, and this one irritates the shit out of me. I have people constantly saying that we can't build our own nation, we can't build our own communities because all they're gonna do is come in and burn it down like Tulsa. There are plenty of thriving black communities throughout America today. If they tried to come in there and burn it down, then they would get their asses shot. If a KKK member came dressed up like this, me and Rob is in here right now. I guarantee, I know I got my gun, Rob probably has his gun. I guarantee they gonna get their ass shot. They are gonna be in a fishbowl right there at that front door. And we will be perfectly within our rights to defend ourselves. Do we still have a fight? Do we still have a battle? Economically, spiritually, financially. Well, I said economically. Physically, we still have a fight. But all this chatter about the world is worse now. Things are getting crazier. That is purely because your perspective from when you was a child, everything was fun, 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 play, 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 play. You became more aware as an adult of what was around you. And then the world seemed like it got worse. Because life was better when I was a child. If I can go back to being around 18, 17, 18, living in my grandmother's house, having a little job, got a little money in my pocket, cars, and the freedom to go wherever I want to go and not pay any bills because this adulting is bullshit, I would go and do it. And of course it was better then than it is now because now I got to deal with all the bullshit. And so do you. But we still have a fight. And just one last thing. We have the availability to the more information now than we ever have in any other time in history where we can think for ourselves and do for ourselves and build communities and connect with one another. You're going to tell me that the world is worse now than it was back then? You're living in a fallacy within your own mind simply because you're basing that on your childhood perspective and a book that you believe in. So remember, y'all have a great day. Remember, you got to free yourself to be yourself because your greatness is non-negotiable. Good vibrations. Good journey.